hour and 40 minutes late. The pack's never gonna let me live this down. <laughs> no, they're not gonna believe me if I tell them it's my dad's fault. The man's always 15 minutes early to everything. I don't think he's been late a day in his life. <sighs> but I'm glad he went. He felt bad he wasn't gonna be here today, so asking me to bring you over was the next best thing. Mm-hmm. He got promoted to head butcher about a, a couple weeks ago. Requesting time off on that short of notice, not exactly an option. <laughs> I told you, I tried to tell you. My dad's made of cinder blocks and you didn't want to listen to me. <laughs> God, the look on your face when he came around the counter, I would have done anything to have a camera out then. Uh, okay, yeah, him having a bloody apron and the meat cleaver didn't exactly help his image, but I promise he's a soft underneath all that. Literal teddy bear. What? Oh, fuck off. That doesn't explain shit. Yeah, whatever. Hmm? What are you talking about? Yeah, he liked you. He doesn't emote much, but I could tell he liked you. I mean, if he didn't, he would have just tossed you on the counter and made you tomorrow special. Uh, oh my god, I'm kidding. Don't look so worried. <sighs> yeah, just up ahead. Oh, don't complain about the walk. You've been here before, it's not that far. Plus, I promised Claire we'd park outside the ward so we can check it. Mm -hmm. Just a basic security ward, and set up around our entire perimeter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're all safe, I promise. Mm, yeah, most of the pack's here today. Me and my dad has work, along with a couple others. And we lost one to some top secret mission out of town, but they can handle themselves. Everyone else should be here, though. Hey, don't look so nervous. You met my dad, and he's fucking terrifying. You're gonna be just fine here. Claire. <laughs> She's gonna love you, don't worry. And I think you're gonna get along really well with the rest of the pack. Granted, some of them should be kept on a muzzle, but... Uh, yeah, this is it. This is... the den. <laughs> it's definitely not bad. And what's even better is all the food trucks. Fucking hell. Well, no, I know that I kind of signed off on all of them with Claire, but holy shit. So, you ready to pet some dogs and meet some wolves? Fuck yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. More people here than I was expecting, which is good. Can't really see many of my pack mates. We'll take that as a blessing for now. I know a couple of them are gonna be on my ass and speak of the devil. You're late. You said you were gonna be here early. Well, hi to you too. This is Ro. One of the youngest in the pack, and the most persistent pain in my ass. Oh, God, no, you do not have to be polite to them. Nice to meet you. Seriously, she can't go five minutes without mentioning okay, you. Okay, that's enough from you for today. Keep that up, and I'll shave you like a poodle. <laughs> Claire wouldn't let you. <laughs> we want to bet. Just give me five minutes and... Um, did you change out the buttons on these overalls? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Found these while thrifting and swapped them out. You like them? I mean, I would, except this is the fourth time you changed buttons on this set. Well, if you wanted new buttons, you could have just given them to me. I would have added them. But, but I already know how to sew. Look, the stitch is clean and everything. And that clean stitch is going to disintegrate as soon as you shift. Shit, sorry. Remember when I told you I designed clothes? This is the result. 
Specialty wear designed for shifters. Meant to change seamlessly with the shifter for every transformation, except someone keeps changing out the buttons and adding patch pockets that don't blend with the fabrics. Oh, well, I... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to bug you. Too late. I figured you wanted more private time with your new... friend. Oh, uh, well, you get more time alone with Tristan? Those are his favorite colors, right? No, that's... that's a total coincidence. <laughs> uh-huh. Speaking of the other half of your shared brain cell, where is Tristan? <laughs> you mean Triscuit? Come again? Triscuit, your dog. You were having Claire watch him while you went to pick up your... Uh, the seer. You better start making sense before I sew you into a straitjacket next. Just look for yourself. Tris gets at the Berea Bros truck, um, currently getting his tail yanked off by a toddler. I still don't know who the fuck is Triskil. Oh my god. Okay, see that big German shepherd with the white streak on his forehead? Yep, that's uh... That's our boy. Oh, he is so fucking lucky his form is still small so he blends in. I tried to tell him to shift back, but he wouldn't listen. That family got here early before the food trucks and actual shelter dogs arrived. The little girl has been glued to him ever since. He's been really good with her. Uh-huh. Right. Well, why don't you go spare him some bald patches and take him inside to change? Uh, and tonight, get some spare clothes out of storage, and I'll take the overalls and fix them. Don't worry. I already left a bag of my clothes by the door for you. Well, I'm so shocked. Hey, wait, before your rescue mission, uh, have you seen Claire? I think she was talking with one of the shelter leads the last time I saw her. See ya, and nice to meet you. <sighs> my god. Yeah, they're a decent kid. I guess we'll keep them. Come on, we've got a rescue mission of our own now. No, I will not tell you what I said to them. Fuck off. Well, it's been 30 minutes, four dogs, and no sign of Claire. I'm giving up. Okay, maybe not for the whole day, but we can at least take a break. Oh, do not call me out. Yes, I'm hungry. So if it's alright with you, your highness, I'm gonna get myself a taco. You can come with me, or you can find another dog to fawn over. Damn, that was quick. I think I should be offended by how quickly you picked the dog over me. I mean, fuck, I should be offended you picked the dog over tacos. <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you back over here in a minute. Can I at least get you something? Yeah, sure. Listen, this isn't the only truck we're going to. You can get the next one. Deal? Cool. Deal. What do you want? Alright, I can handle that. Be back in a minute and- oh. If you see Trisket again, take pictures. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Hi. I saw you with Beth, and I thought I'd come over to introduce myself. I'm Claire. <laughs> yes, the Alpha, but just Claire is fine. <laughs> it's nice to meet you as well. Beth told me a lot about you, all good things I promise. I'm gonna assume that my beta went off to accost some poor food truck worker. <sighs> yeah, that tracks. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad I caught a moment alone with you. Oh god, no, you're not in any trouble, I, I promise. Beth told me about the vision you had. She didn't give any details, but she said you were worried about the pack. I know that the visions are more of a probability thing than an actual certainty, but we took your concern to heart, and I'm honestly glad that we did. Mm -hmm. 
We have our hunts twice a week, and usually we stick to the western side of our territory near the reservation. But last week we went further into the mountains and found poacher traps along the perimeter. Simon nearly got his leg caught in a snare, and God only knows what would have happened to the others if you hadn't told us. That's what you saw, wasn't it? One of them getting hurt? Beth? I see. Why are you apologizing? You told Beth to be careful, and that warning kept several of my pack from getting injured. I understand that being a seer has its complications. Well, I don't understand entirely, but I would never hold it against you for not giving all the explicit details. That isn't fair to you, and the warning you gave us was more than enough. I'm grateful. Hey, I didn't ask you if you wanted to drink. Hello. Not the bitch I was expecting you to find, but I'm not mad. Claire, where the fuck have you been? <sighs> I'll give you three guesses. First two don't count. Oh, fuck me. Are they still here? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <sighs> I believe they're checking the locks on the mobile kennels. Um... <sighs> I don't know if I told you this, but I told Claire about the whole vision thing just because you were worried, and we found some- I was actually just telling them. Oh. What else have you told them? I was just thanking them. Right. Well, since we're right next to a nature reservation, Claire went to tell the local rangers, and... And one has become particularly interested in us. They're... Fine. Just very dedicated to their job. They've been here all day, and while I appreciate their attention to detail, it's been... <sighs> tiring, to say the least. Uh, hey, if you could just give us one second. Thanks. You could... Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, if you need to, I can take over. You go inside. Let the glamour go for a little bit. It's fine. I can hold it the rest of the night. Don't worry about it. You brought a guest. Enjoy the night with them. Okay. Only for sure. Promise. If I need to put responsibility on anyone, I'll put it on Trisket. <laughs> you saw that too, huh? He's kind of hard to miss. Eh, don't worry about him. We sent Ro to take him inside. So Ro did get a hold of you. Yeah, we saw the little shit. What? No, they were not sweet. They're a fucking menace. <laughs> they have been dying to meet you ever since Beth told us about how you two met. Uh-huh. Uh and going back to my sentiment of gratitude... Thank you for not calling the police on my beta. Mm -hmm, that's me. I can only imagine what it was like coming home to a wolf in your living room. Wait, already shifted. You know, I still need to get those tacos, Claire. If you want in, I can get us all some... Oh, God. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? No. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, she left out that detail. Mm, I suddenly feel very outnumbered. You threw them against a wall? Mm. Throw is such an aggressive word. I gently shoved with purpose. Oh, shut up. No one asked your opinion. Beth, breaking into their home was already a felony. Now you're telling me there's assault charges? Oh. Technically, it's only a felony if I had intend to rob the place. Just walking into the wrong home doesn't really count. It would be like a misdemeanor at best. Oh my god. Did you look that up? Mm, potentially, and you stop laughing. And you just... I'm glad you two worked it out regardless. Still a little concerned about your judgment, but... I'll let it go for now. Uh, 
If you'll excuse me, I see a familiar pair of khaki shorts coming my way. I'll talk to you both later. Again, it was really nice meeting you, and make sure you leave here with my number. Just in case Beth wants to omit any more details in the future. Mm, that feels like a threat. Good. <laughs> Have a good night. Uh, Claire. Hmm? Any updates? Mm. The last update I got was a picture at a gas station. They left two days ago, so they should almost be there. Mm, better than nothing. Right now I'm just hoping I get some updates when they're on their way back. Keep me posted. Will do. Good night. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm a, a little worried. Remember when I said one of our pack mates was on a special mission? They've, uh, got some business back in our old hometown. I'm just hoping they'll get back safe. But that is something to worry about later. I know they can take care of themselves, so... Tacos? <laughs> well, right this way. Come on, come on, we're gonna miss it. Oh no, I can't tell you what it is. It's supposed to be a surprise. Just get out here. <sighs> come on, it's the porch roof. It's flat enough. Come on. There we go. If you slip and fall, I'll catch you, okay? I promise. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Come on. Sit by me. <sighs> and now... We can breathe. <sighs> Today was really fun. I mean, exhausting, and a lot, but fun. You did? <sighs> Good. I'm glad. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the food trucks are gone, and... All the animals are packed up, but the night's still young, and if I time this right... Please? Oh, come on, this could be so... There we go. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, just some little fireworks. Yes, we went through all the paperwork with the ranger, it's all cleared. <laughs> But the pack's been putting a lot of work in, and this event was, you know, a big step for us, so we wanted to celebrate with a pretty light show and some time to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look down. <laughs> uh-huh. There's Ro and Tristan, not Trisket. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. When the moon's high enough, being shifted is really nice. Hmm? I, I mean, yeah, I could, but... I don't know. I wouldn't be able to talk to you if I was shifted. And, believe it or not, despite how many gray hairs you give me, I like talking to you. Yeah, I mean it. I like you a lot. You're the first friend I met in Glenwood. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. <laughs> I have friends. I mean, I have the pack, but, you know, they're family. They're the, the kind of... Well, they're... They're not obligated to stick around, but I don't know. It's it's different meeting someone who 
you just click with regardless of how you know each other. It's nice. <laughs> okay, maybe I haven't. Well, maybe I'm just shy. Excuse me? <laughs> what in the emotional manipulation? Oh, if we were really friends, you would have shifted in front of me by now. You fuck. <laughs> well, for one thing, I'm not dressed for the occasion. So if you want me to strip on a roof, you better have some singles in your hands or you better be taking my ass out to dinner. Relax, relax. I know you were joking. I will. Eventually. When I'm properly dressed. I'll let you see me in my wolf form. But for now, just... Come on, we picked all the good colors. I might as well look at them. Them. Wow. Um, the, the fireworks, they, they, they look really beautiful tonight. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Today was a really good day. Thank you. <laughs>